Get out of my... Oh. What are you... Crap? My video? Do you need me? I didn't want to have to come to this. I really did not want to have to come to this, but we're doing it. Oh, get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> this next one, you can't even really see my outfit. And if I'm being very honest with you guys, I just wanted to include it because look at this. Look at my ass. Look at my ass. Are you kidding? take credit for this video my best friend actually helped me come up with the idea for this video so shout out to you Aisha thank you okay so let's get into the video so this um, photo is from like elementary school with two of my close friends back in the day one of them is still my current like bestie but that's besides the point I'm just literally so fucking embarrassed first let's talk about my hair like my hair um this is a struggle so back in the day when i was younger my mom was like i don't know just super strict and obviously because i'm muslim she would always tell me and my sisters like it's haram to add like attachment to your for example this she'd be like it's haram to do braids blah, 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 blah. so me and my sisters can do braids <laughs> we have to do basically they're called yarn braids <laughs> It's so embarrassing, but yeah, we do that every day. Well, not every day, but like anytime we wanted our hair done, we would get yarn braids. And the thing is, because it's like wool and yarn, it one it changes color in the sun. It was just like a really struggle period for my life. I'm just appalled. The t-shirt, the t-shirt. <laughs> I'm wearing like a little black cardigan. I probably thought I was such a fashionista. Also, I'm just gonna kindly roast you, Aisha. <laughs> what? Why do you look like a full on auntie? Like, babe, sweetie. Babe, <laughs> photo number two. This is also with my best friend. A lot of these elementary school photos you're gonna see um, this one girl in here. She's my best friend. She's basically like my sister. And let me tell you, we both really evolved because. <laughs> Aisha, why did we look like this? You know, I still kept this same like flannel. I'm probably gonna say till like sophomore year of high school. This was probably mean like third, okay, not third grade, fourth, fifth grade. And the fact that I still had this flannel, oh my God, I'm so glad that I'm done with it. Uh, Muslim girl struggles. I had to always wear shorts with tights underneath because my mom was like, baby, where are you going? <laughs> You're not leaving the house like that. So, um, honestly, I show you look cute in this photo. Like, your outfit is actually not bad. I'll give it to you on that one. This photo. Do you guys see what I mean when I tell you I always had to wear something under my skirt? Like, that skirt would have never been worn by itself, ever. My mom would literally rather lock me up in the house than let me leave like that. Oh. The pink on pink hijab. Like the pink hijab on the pink shirt. Why? Who did I think I was matching? I had that hijab in every single color, so I was a fashion girl. But yeah, this was us on a field trip. I just don't understand the light blue with the baby pink, like... It was not it. This outfit was not it. Zero out of 10, would not recommend. 
so this next photo was from when my family and I had just come back from Dubai and obviously I wanted to sport this top so I thought it was a cute outfit and I think we had like a sports day or something because why the fuck am I holding a bucket like it's not making sense yeah and then the shorts too is just so tacky honestly I won't even really rate this one because clearly it wasn't like an outfit you know <laughs> Oh my god, this next one. I remember exactly, exactly when this was. I had a party at her house. And obviously, I told you guys, I had this hijab in literally every color. Look at me sporting the white and the cute little white and black number. But I just don't understand why I wore that with the pink shirt and also the gray cardigan. And then the bag. <laughs> To be honest, the most embarrassing thing out of all of this was the shorts. They were definitely boy shorts. Definitely too big for me. And I just don't understand the placement with the outfit. Do you know who actually looks really good? Ed May. In this photo, the girl to the right, she looks... Her outfit is actually killer. I mean, I'd take away the, the yellow cardigan because she was wearing orange, but best outfit out of all of us. The girl to the left, her outfit is also cute. I like it. Aisha, me and you, yeah, we didn't use to dress cute at all. Like, I'm telling you this too, because what are the yellow sneakers, the high tops, <laughs> with the pink top, and then the denim hat, babe. This photo I'm not even gonna rate, because Laptop literally almost just fell. Anyway, <laughs> what did we think we were? Why was that a pose? Why was that a thing? I have so many questions. Actually, too many questions. So this is the next outfit up. It's actually really not that bad. I still have those pants and I still wear them like regularly. Um, that top is long gone. I just I don't know. It made sense back in the day, but like the blue and then I wouldn't really pair it together today, but I don't think this is my work, definitely. This outfit is actually quite recent, like from last summer. <laughs> um, I think I look cute. I think I could have gone for different shoes though, because like I hate when I'm wearing, even though this is the design of the jeans, I hate when I'm wearing like jeans that don't come fully down to my ankle and then I'm wearing shoes that are also like low cut but otherwise I kind of stand this outfit I really like the um the boot too and the jeans too it's like kind of a look like it's kind of a thing next outfit was actually from graduation night or maybe this is a graduation banquet. This is with two of my closest friends from high school. I This is one of the best outfits that I've reviewed from like the whole video, to be honest. I still have that top. My sister actually made the top because she's a fashion design student. And this was like when she first started making her own stuff at home and 10 out of 10. Pants were from Zara. 10 out of 10, I love those pants. I don't know where they are now though, probably lost. But this outfit was actually cute. Like if I had put more accessories on, I think it would have looked better. But overall, seven out of 10. This next one is actually hilarious because I'm wearing these pants right now, like as we speak. But um, yeah, I like this outfit. I think it's cute. I would give it a seven out of 10 also, just cause it's like a basic outfit, but still kind of, it did what it had to do at the time. That's all that matters, really. I'm, okay, this one I'm actually offended. Like, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to admit this. Okay guys, I'll tell you, I've got a deformed toe. I've got a deformed toe. And I just don't understand how I have the confidence to post this photo with my toes out. Like my actual deformed toes were out for the whole of Facebook to see. If you think you're gonna catch me slipping and you're gonna go on my Facebook account, I've already taken it off, so nice try. Nice try. <laughs> but seriously, what the fuck? The toe! 
toes the toes is what killed me like i really said guys love me for me here i am bare the outfit is actually not even that bad to be quite frankly with you to be what english Do you remember when I was telling you guys like I wasn't allowed to do extensions? That hair that I have is literally like the yarn braids again. It was an era, a time in my life. The yarn braids? <laughs> it's actually embarrassing. But yeah, this outfit is really not that bad. I'll, 5 out of 10, definitely. But it's not the worst. I just don't like how I had that big chunky ass band. Like, where do you think you're going? This photo was with my sister for Dows, and this was in Tunisia. And I think we had just come back from Morocco, and so I bought like a bunch of cute clothes that I thought were cute at the time. Like, when I got this top, I thought it was everything. Those little crop tops that you could tie here, I literally thought like the pinnacle of my fashion back in the day. So. Yeah, and that's also <laughs> That's when Tom's came out and they were like kind of the thing like every like if you didn't have Tom's You were kind of a loser and so I forced my parents to get me Tom's but I got glittery ones I'm screaming for myself like why and then what's really annoying is the fact that I'm wearing like why are the pockets showing outside of the shorts? <laughs> Oh, ghetto. 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 <laughs> this outfit, okay. This next outfit, the execution was wrong. But in theory, like if I was wearing, dip, for example, the top. I feel like it was just too much blue going on and too many different hues of blue. But if I was wearing like a white basic top with this, it would have looked amazing. So I had, the, like the vision was there, execution was like a solid 6 out of 10. Vision, 10 out of 10. And that's on... This is actually such a cute outfit that I'd actually wear again. So we had international day in our school and obviously I was walking for Ghana and so I wore like a little traditional skirt or whatever with like a black basic, kind of like the one I'm wearing now. And it was it kind of hit like I would definitely wear this outfit again Make it a little maybe make it a little bit more skimpy this time around, but still still I would actually give this like a 10 out of 10 Okay, that's a bit that's a bit much. I'm pushing it a solid like six seven out of ten Okay, this was another outfit where like execution was zero, but the thought was a 10 like I don't even know what type of jeans these are, but it was just too baggy, like, the, I'm getting a lot of crotch, like, way too much crotch, you know? But, if there was less crotch, this outfit definitely would have been a 10 out of 10, and I'm not even getting. This next one, you can't even really see my outfit, and if I'm being very honest with you guys, I just wanted to include it because, look at this, look at my ass, look at my ass! Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? <laughs> She said, she said my ass is sitting. No, but look at it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna include this in here because like this is a roast and obviously I don't want people to watch this and be like, this bitch cannot dress because I can dress, okay? So, me and prom. Uh, my prom dress is made by my sister, again, She's actually amazing and she makes everything. But I definitely think I killed it from 10 out of 10. It was definitely a 10 out of 10 look. Like the little crisscross back. Amazing. If I do say so myself, <laughs> let me be humble before. You know? Like, come on, chill. Okay, wait. Where was where are my parents? Actually, where are my parents? Who told me I can do this? <gasps> Bitch. <laughs> no, why that? I actually thought I was a bad bit. I mean, I am. I was, but shit. Like, I really thought I was a bad bitch. Cause, who am I? Like, what? 
Also, again, all of these were shot my post Morocco trip because I bought hella clothes there and I really thought I was that bitch, but what? I'm just confused, I'm confusion. So I might actually do a part two of this video where I review like my outfits from my first year and second year of uni. Here you will see a drastic change, like improvement. Like I, this is where I started to become a fashion girl. But before that, I was actually embarrassing and definitely not impressive. Like, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything will be in the bio box below. Bye guys. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe yet? You heard it. Bye, bitches.